Kitana. Well, it was only a matter of time till this show encountered skimpy, useless video game armor. You perverts are the reason for the phrase jiggle physics. And I'm a fan! Smash. Sub-Zero. I'm not a fan of intimate encounters in cold conditions. It's impossible to stay at the ready, and it basically just shrivels up like a raisin. So that's a pass. <coughs> Melina. If you've ever seen what's under the mask, you know that Blenderface over here has quite the dentition. I don't know if that means she has butt teeth or front butt teeth, but there's only one way to find out. Smash. Scorpion, an undead ninja that's a fan of chains and blades. You might think that would be a smash, but if you've ever seen under his costume, it's more zombie and skeleton than I'd like. Rotting meat and bone is not a place where I'd stick it again, so that's a pass. <coughs> Liu Kang, so basically it's just a martial artist. He looks like his two favorite conversation topics would be discipline and trenbolone, so that's a pass. <coughs> Sonya Blade, a military officer in the Special Forces. Three green flags and a girl. Fierce, beautiful, and can field strip an M16 in six seconds flat. Those are some talented hands. Smash. Raiden, that guy with them shocky hands. Some of you might think screwing Raiden would be like putting a condom made of tinfoil on and sticking it in a toaster. But if they got good control over it, it's just a bit of fun electro play. Smash! Shang Tsung, one of the main villains in the Mortal Kombat series. He's never really interested in me. I don't play as him because I can't repeatedly spam with him until I win, which is a valid strategy. Go fuck yourself. Pass. Johnny Cage, a martial arts actor. Now, some people who are into getting their berries smushed might like that specific move he does with the nutsack, but that's not my thing, so neither is this goober. That's a pass. Devora, the insect lady. I know she lays eggs, so the hardware might be a little unconventional, but I'm not gonna let unconventional hardware get in the way of us inventing a swarm job. Smash! Shao Kung. So a big guy with a big hammer. This is kind of like someone who thinks an article of clothing is a personality. Let me give you a hint, buddy. Hammer doesn't make the man, the man makes the hammer. Pass. <coughs> Goro. This critter has four arms, and you better believe it knows how to use each and every one of them. A quadruple noodle perusal sounds nuts. Literally. Smash. Oh wait, there's a girl version? Never mind. Pass Goro and smash Shiva. Jade. Jax. The guy with them two robot arms. For me, it depends on how they connect. Do they connect like a Lego piece, so there's a little fleshy hole with a metal nub stuck in it? That's the only way it's a yes, so unless I know, I gotta pass. Cassie Cage, the daughter of Sonya Blade and Johnny Cage. I'm just saying, Sonya is military and Johnny's an actor, so she was definitely stepping on his face the night Cassie was conceived. Plus, those two combined? Of course that's a smash. Creeper. This thing is inherently phallic, but if you were to do anything with it, the resulting explosion would probably give the room you two were sharing a new coat of blood red paint. That's a nice booty you got there. It'd be a shame if someone smashed it. Ass. <laughs> Zombies. I'm a man of the flesh, but when the flesh is rotting, constantly fallen off, and smells of putrid decay, that's when you gotta call pass. Villager. The noises for this mob always make me giggle, so I'm gonna do something ungodly for the lulls. <coughs> <laughs> Smash. Ender Dragon. I've said it once, I'll say it a million times, there is likely already some weirdo somewhere petitioning to legally marry this video game reptile. And I am no homewrecker. Pass. Wither. This thing does have three heads, so it has that going for it. However, it is both a skeleton and has a wither effect. Not only would your bits be shredded and bleeding, they would also just wither away. Pass. It's the office Christmas party all over again. Enderman. Tall, dark, and beautiful. Not only that, but this thing can teleport. You can't beat the convenience of a sneaky link that is their own Uber. Smash. Wolf. I keep saying I'm not a furry, and you guys just call me a furry more. I guess it's true what they say. You can have dignity or a social media platform, but not both. Pass. And the same thing goes for the cat and the horse, you cat girl ML porn weirdos. Pig. 
Fun fact, people often say the closest analog for the feeling of human skin is pig skin. Well, I, I guess that wasn't really fun, but it was a fact. Smash. Um. Chicken. On average, one out of 256 eggs will drop a chicken. So to make a chicken AZFK hybrid, I will need to smash this poor, poor creature 256 times because I'm bad at math. Smash. Piglins. R remember that thing I said uh. about pig skin and human skin and how they're pretty close and stuff? Well, they just got a bit closer. Smash. Skeleton. If you've been around this channel before, I'm not paying for your therapy, but you also know how I feel about skeletal orifices, and pixelated is only gonna make that stabbing bone hole feel a whole lot worse. Pass. Iron Golem. An entire being made of heavy, rusted metal, and all of its parts end in sharp right angles. So it's basically signing up to get your bits stabbed and crushed and a bit of tetanus. Pass. Spider. I'm not really sure what kind of spider this thing is based off of, but with eight legs, you know this thing would give one crazy octo jerk. Smash. Slime. Soft and slimy, plus anywhere you stick it, it would make a hole. You know the getting's good when it sounds like... Smash. Cow. The cow has got to be a pass, but the mushroom, however... What kind of mushrooms you think those are? You think if I give it my balls, I'll trip balls? Only one way to find out. Smash. Builder. Wait a minute. This is just the player character, right? So technically, it would just be doing it yourself. I hate to disappoint the nofap or NNN crowd. Just kidding. I love it so much. I do it six times a day. Smash. For a second opinion, AZFK decided to get on the server of a world-renowned Minecraft expert. So you said you're like an expert? in Minecraft, right? Yeah, my dad owns the company that owns Minecraft. Bill Gates? Hey, wait, what was your dad doing with Jeffrey Epstein? Why are you on my server again? Oh, uh, I'm a YouTuber. My name is AZFK. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I've never heard of you. Oh, I make Smasher Pass videos, and, and I thought I would ask you which is the best to smash, because you know a lot, and, you know, that's my full-time job now. How old are you? 22. Uh, uh, oof. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, my dad says I should stay in school so I don't end up like you. So, uh, which one would you smash? Actually, I'm not even sure I should be talking to someone like you at all. Pinky. This is an enemy that the tutorial says you should hit from the back if you know what I mean. One in the pinky and two in the stinky. Smash. Maybe God was right to abandon us. <laughs>
sucks, man. The fact that they chopped off them thunder thighs and replaced them with a goddamn toaster is a tragedy. Pass. Arachnotron. I wasn't into regular spiders, so whoever assumed that slapping a turret and a human brain on it would fix that is obviously wrong. Pass. Whiplash. So it's basically like a human plus a snake. I know it's slithery on the outside, but let's find out if it feels slithery on the inside. Smash. Tyrant. Not very appealing, right? But just hear me out. Nostrils. Smash. Cue balls. One wrong thrust and this thing paints the walls red with all the blood in my dick. Pass. Icon of Sin. I obviously have the biggest one. It's it's a fact that needs no verification. But w with how big this thing is, it's just gonna be like when I threw that fat kid's corn dog down the well. A lot of crying. Pass. Con Maker. Are those mechanical chesticles? Finally, a demon from the game that has things even remotely resembling reproductive organs, nor at least any ones that I'd have interest in. Smash. I mean, if I was God, I'd abandon us too. Mario. I'm about to make this Italian plumber go Yahoo! by hopping down his pipes. I wonder if he'll jump on my Goomba. Smash. Oh, I'm gonna get so f sued by Nintendo. <laughs>how could anyone even think of passing on her? She's gotta be hella thick under that dress. I mean, her name is the same name as the butt emoji. Smash. What the f*** do you mean it's a fruit? Daisy. I've always felt like Daisy is just kind of a reskin of Peach that they made so they didn't have to develop Luigi's character into that incel that one day decides he's had enough and then also decides to blow up a children's hospital. I'm not saying that is a bad thing. I also said that Peach was hot. Smash. Goomba. This one kind of looks like a dong. Also, I always wondered if the slur came from the video game, or there was an already pre-existing slur for Italians that Miyamoto was like, hell yeah, I'm putting it in a children's game. Just watch me. I'm not gonna Google it because I like the second one, and I'm pretty sure that's not what it is. Smash. Luigi. Do you guys remember when Nintendo uploaded a picture of Luigi in a tennis outfit, and then a bunch of people on Tumblr decided to hyper-analyze the bulge in attempts to determine the size of his dingle and came to the conclusion that it was 3.7 inches soft? No? Well, ignorance is bliss, and I just stole that from you. Pass. Yoshi. Have you ever seen the length and stickiness of this thing's tongue? This green dinosaur could be one hell of a wizard with the glizzy gizzard blizzard despite being a lizard. Smash. Erdo. Oh wow, a mouth that looks and functions exactly like a suction cup. I wonder what low hanging fruit kind of joke this could be used for. I'd like to get that mouth around my low hanging fruits. Smash. Wario. The sheer thickness of this lad cannot be contained. Also, since I found out that people sell fart jars online, I now know that that's a thing, and for some reason, that's one of his abilities. Pass. Waluigi. Tall, dark, and handsome. High key, I feel like one of my exes kind of looks like Waluigi. Like a purple shirt, mustache, and overalls away. So I guess I've already smashed. Donkey Kong. For the millionth time, I am not a furry. Pass. But for real though, you know me constantly saying that I'm not a furry is baiting you to comment, right? Bowser. I just established that I'm not a furry, and now I go to establish that I'm not a scaly. Pass. Bowsette, however, is definitely hot enough for me to be a hypocrite. Smash. Koopa Troopa. Fun fact, when the Koopa Troopa hops back into its shell, it actually has a hole for all of its limbs and its head. It'd be a shame to let all those holes go to waste. Smash. Chompy Plant. Normally when I try to have sex with plants, they just die, but I feel like this one would bite my dingle right off my body. Just like when I think about steroids, the only reason I'm saying no is because I am very invested in my own penis. Thwan. A giant heavy stone rectangular block that smashes down at great speed, crushing whatever is under it. I gotta say, one of my favorite things about myself is how my pingus hasn't been excruciatingly flattened to the point of being a useless pancake. So I gotta pass. Toad. I like mushrooms as much as the next guy, but I don't know if I like them enough to put aside my sexual preferences. Toadette, however, I'd take a trip to her mushroom kingdom. I wonder if I trip balls if I'll insert them. Smash. Rosalina. Rosalina's a baddie, and I bet she could incorporate these weird little star critters to lick the back of my nut. Oh god, that's a little too far. It's such a funny show. I'm such a great funny, funny, funny guy. 
Freddy Fazbear, the namesake of the entire brand. Now, a furry animatronic would be a pass regularly for two reasons. I'm not a furry, and robot holes are sharp. But also, there's a dead kid stuck up in there. You think that would change the situation? Because it does. Smash. Guys, come on, it was a fucking joke. Stop with the angry tweets. Fine, you finally convinced me. I'll play Smasher Pass with the goddamn Chuck E. Cheese ripoffs. Just goes to show that everyone does have a price. And mine was only clicks, so let's get into it. Foxy, most iterations of this psycho look away for a second and it's already there, mofo have a hook for a hand. I'm not looking for pigs in a blanket on a stick. Actually, I'm circumcised, so there wouldn't be a blanket, but still pass. Bonnie, this thing is devoid of characteristics which I'd consider desirable. It's technically a Playboy bunny, but in all the wrong ways. It's an actual play boy bunny so pass mangle yeah if i stuck it in i bet it would get mangled if mangle's name is any indication of how they wrangle and strangle my dangle i'm gonna have to pangle fuck pass Sorry, I can't even talk today. Chica, now in the original form, because she looks like an inflatable chicken with some lipstick smeared on, it's a pass. Boy Chica, however. She is such a bad bitch, no. I will fuck the shit out of that robot. Smash. Oh god, what did I do? William Afton, the purple guy. You could call me the purple guy because I just put a kid up in that animatronic. Um. I will never apologize for stealing jokes from Twitter, and this gross purple wart is a pass. Balloon Boy, an instant pass. For reasons of it is a kid. Also, it looks weird and I want to kill it with a rock. Matt Pat. The unofficial mascot of the entire series. Uh, He's made more FNAF theories than I've made Smasher passes. I would say pass because the man is my childhood. But I did this game with Spongebob and Courage, so smash. The puppet. Is it just me, or does the puppet low-key have the hourglass figure going? I've definitely screwed less attractive people in my life. On your deathbed, you only regret the sex that you didn't have. Unless you died of AIDS or some shit. Springtrap. I like my penis minus the tetanus, so I gotta go with a pass. Music Man. I don't know much about this horrifying monstrosity, but if he's like any other type of musician, I know that the skilled use of that hands and mouth will transfer to its other application. Smash. Roxanne Wolf. I know nothing about this one except it's a wolf, so it's the opportune time to remind you all that I'm not a fucking furry. And check that one off the list. I'm blowing right through these today. The Human Heads. You know, I'm pretty sure you can get a machine like this one on the internet. Kinda reminds me of speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. Look, I'm pretty sure one won't speak any evil, but they sure as hell are gonna taste it. Smash. The Blob. A huge mass of wire tentacles and animatronic parts. I can't imagine what it feels like to be all up in them mess, but I'll let you know when I'm done. Smash. The Endoskeletons. I'm not even sure if there's a hole to speak of. To be honest, I have to pass just out of logistic impossibility. But even if I didn't, this thing is uglier than hell. The Robot Twins. Obviously, both of them are a smash. Best three way you could ever ask for. But I'm just gonna say that scene where they sexily beat you up definitely awakened some interest no one thought they'd have to deal with. Me too, kid. But different game, 10 years ago. Smash. I'm back. Nora, the horny vending machine. So it's basically like a refrigerator-shaped BDSM bot. I mean, like, first off, of course it's a smash. It's programmed for the purpose of satiating depravity. Second off, I know there's a mod that puts her dialogue in a fight scene with the twins without even checking. I just, like, power of the internet. And now I'm checking to download it, and I confirmed it. Charles, the AI in your glove. Look, all I'm saying is, if I had a Charles on my right hand full of mechanical tendrils, he would likely request to be uh, reassigned immediately. Honestly, I can't think of a worse right hand to be sentient if it wasn't into it. It sounds like hell. Smash. Larissa. Short dyed hair, dresses like a cross between a lady zookeeper and someone from Futurama, and is known for her intelligence and subtly manipulative behavior. Honestly, this sounds like a lot of my go-tos in college. Smash. A3. Since this is the player character, wouldn't this just be doing it yourself? I mean, I'm kind of already on number five today, but I guess I could squeeze something out. Smash. The potty bot. Um... Look, I can get weird and dirty as much as the next guy, but shoving my face into a filled mass grave seems a bit far. Necrophiliac toilet orgy is something that should never be said nor imagined. Ignorance is bliss and I just stole that from you. Pass. Uh. Granny Xena. 
Look, she's a bit older, but any woman who's running around murdering monsters and robots with a pitchfork must have been a baddie in her prime. I'm sure there's some kind of youth gel somewhere in this cyberpunk Chernobyl-style wasteland. Eh, screw it. It looks like there's a lot of life left in those eyes. Smash. Sprouts. A mixture of plant and animal proteins. The unprocessed food of the future. Put unprocessed in quotes, huh? Are you telling me that now I can just walk outside and plant a vagina seed and then wait a month for a whole field of fleshlights? The future is just so beautiful sometimes. Smash. Mutants. So the result of a combination between a human and a spore. For the toxic and fire mutants, that's a pass since I already know what a burning infection feels like and I'm not yearning for another. The regular varieties just sound like a human with a few extra holes though. Okay. So smash. The goopy glob bathtub blood guy. I don't know what those crimson liquid tendrils do, but I guarantee you by the end of this video, I'm gonna find out. Smash. Sechenov. Anyone who's able to pull an MK Ultra on humanity probably has some good mind games in bed. That'd be bad long term though, so smash but one night stand. That weird no face cat that came from the dream world. Look, everything in this game is either slimy or clanky, and I needed to find some way to bait you all into calling me a furry for engagement. Also, I'm not a furry, fuck you. Pass. Ereshkova. This bot seems like the only genuinely just friendly critter in the whole game. Seems like a fun, non-judgmental time. Genuinely, this one is just a smash for a wholesome reason. Intimate connection. Don't get used to it. Stockhausen. A former German scientist that fled post-war. Yup. That war. The human is Jewish and instead of paying him, he says just kill every Nazi I see. I said with pleasure. Murder. I'll send his sliced off face to his family expecting him in Argentina. Argonian. One thing I always wondered is, if this species is a reptile, why'd they make the women with titties? I came to the obvious answer as all of you must. To market to the basement people, you needed a reptussy. Smash. Nord. So what? We're just talking... a Swedish woman? There has to be some sort of catch. What, you're saying she's gonna shout at me? Yeah, so exactly like dating a regular human. Smash. Breton. So it's a human that specializes in sorcery. I'm not sure exactly what could be done, but I'll show her the South Park episode titled Ah Magic, and we'll see what we can get going. Smash. Giant. I've only ever seen a male version of the giant, and considering his name, I'm gonna pass out of fear of being hit with a meat hammer. Dark Elf, aka Dunmer, are described as a prejudiced, disciplined, tradition-heavy people. It depends on what individual I get, because repressive cultures breed two types of people. Repressed people and absolute freaks. I'll take the risk with a smash. Dragger. So it's kind of like a dungeon zombie. It's also not really a fresh kill, so it'd be like sticking your dick into an already rotting Thanksgiving turkey. Pass. Imperial. Named for imperialism, and you decided to make their two traits well-educated and well-spoken. Goddamn, Bethesda. They're imperial, what are you, colonial? I'll still smash. I don't care how problematic she is. She's hot. Spriggan. The weird forest plant lady monster. Now this would be a smash in every way, shape, and form, despite the fact that this is probably another instance in which I'll get a c*** full of splinters. So I gotta pass. Orc. A battle-scarred culture where every woman looks like they could throw me like a ragdoll. Husband? Where is thy shirt? Jesus Christ, it's like dating 10 foot tall lean beef patty with sharp teeth and anger issues. Smash. Red guards. Described as the most naturally gifted warriors in Tamriel. Look, something I know is that flexibility, strength, and speed are both important in fighting and in screwing. So chances are, they know what they're doing. Smash. Mud crab. Oh, sorry. Uh, this one isn't supposed to be on the list. It's just like way too sexy. It wouldn't even be fair. Wood Elf. I don't know if the name indicates that their insides feel like wood, but I'm not risking urethra splinters. Wait, that sounds like a really cool band name. Pass. Khajiit. I'm not a furry, and personally, I don't think there is a correct kind of cat girl. I think it's all a sin, but if there was, it's not this. And I've made a few ussy jokes, but I'm, I was thinking about it, I think this one would legitimately just be considered a pass. Dragon. I know for a fact there's at least two people fighting for who gets to marry Alduin from Skyrim. I'm not trying to compete with them because I'm pretty sure whoever doesn't get the dragon has to marry a body pillow. And I can't condemn two people to that. Pass. 
Lucifer, the CEO of Hell. I'm a fan of depravity and sadists, and when someone is crowned royalty for being the most of that, I need to see why. Also, I'm not proud of it, but I've been watching this gif for like 20 minutes, so, um, smash. What kind of place is this? Judgment. So it's like a regular demon girl, except way more goth. Always a plus. I know with a name like Judgment, you'd be worried about kink shaming. But getting kink shamed is my kink. Smash. Modius, the demon of lust. You actually get the option to smash right then and there first meet. And if you say yes, she breaks your legs so you can't run away. Jesus Christ. That's the hottest thing I've ever heard. Sounds like a plan to me. I love sex and pain and I fucking hate running. Smash. Cerberus. So basically it's one demon, but the soul is split amongst three women. So it's a three-way and their minds would all be hyper-coordinated to the point that they'd be moving as one being. That's one hell of a smash. Panda Monica. The custom Customer service rep of hell. One may think that a buttoned up office worker would be no fun to spread sheets with, pun intended, but it's always the most buttoned up who are the freakiest when it all comes unbuttoned. Smash. Beelzebub. It depends on whether it's her fly form or her fly foo form. A morbidly obese symbol of filth is a pass, but a cute girl entirely obsessed with depravity and gluttony sounds like she'd be my best friend. Smash. Azazel. AKA Lore Master, an angel that turns demon obsessed with knowledge and research. I mean, you can already tell she's a switch in one sense, like a Benedict Arnold sense, but let's see if she can switch when it matters. Smash. Have I passed one yet? Jesus fucking Christ. Wow, this episode is horny. Justice, what the game labels as the awesome demon. Apparently her personality traits are laid back and chill and also one dimensional as shit. Well, she's hot, so good enough for me. Smash. Molina, also known as the Sour Demon. A bad attitude can be fun in bed, especially if she directs it towards me. When two of her animated stills are titled Cell Phone and Vodka, now that's my kind of woman. Smash. So wait, this game is about assembling a harem? Oh boy, this is a long time coming, but I think we need to have a chat. Collecting more drawings of girls doesn't actually make you better at talking to them. It's probably the opposite. Zadrata. AKA the bitch demon. That's not me, the game named her that. Any girl that's so sadomasochistic that she wears a cross because it constantly burns her skin is someone I want to get in the sack with. Smash. Skeleton. One of the things I don't really get about this model is how it's both bones and muscular, but at the same time. But aside from that, a bony hole is always sharp and painful, so I gotta go with a pass. The Angels. One might think that angels would be the most sexually repressed in the entire game on account of the weird sex rules that Christians have, like the leaders can only fuck little boys for some horrible reason. But there's likely many angels that would secretly go and do their own kinky thing. Strict societies breed two types of people. Repressed people and absolute freaks. Smash. Helltaker. He kind of looks like my friend's dad from when I was like a kid. I wouldn't smash, but however, I would go play in the yard pretending to be Pokemon or dumb shit while he makes his hamburgers without melting the cheese somehow. Pass. Generic. The unused blank template demon for the game development files. I've definitely been with the human analog of this design, if you know what I mean. And I gotta say, it's still better than my hand. Smash. Police. Now, they are pretty cute, but that's not the issue. My issue is they might find the not cocaine that isn't in my piss hole. Pass. Entity 67. A skeleton man with likely a steroid abuse issue leading to his small penis, which both in combination probably lead to his anger. I didn't need to insult him to state pass because I'm not gay, but I just wanted to anyways. Miss Pauling. This is gonna be the only smash in the video with any shred of sincerity behind it. I mean, come on. Let me put it this way. Do you have any doubt of who's gonna be in the thumbnail to get the down bads to click? Smash. Seduce me. Scout. The figure and athleticism is on point, but the speed is actually what I'm worried about. This class's one characteristic is that it's fast. And also from Brooklyn, I think. But that's besides the point because this is probably someone who's gonna finish in two seconds. Pass. Soldier. How does he even see out from under that helmet? Doesn't seem like he's the brightest knife in the crayon box. The soldier kind of looks like the type of motherfucker to drink a beer with a straw. Pass. Pyro. First off, Pyro is the only playable girl, so smash. Second off, an all-encompassing latex bodysuit plus a gas mask? You know they always say to seize the opportunities you get, and some online pervert would pay great money for this. Smash. And then, 
Oh, fuck. Demo man. Since man is in the name, this is an auto pass. A demo woman, however, an over the top strong binge drinking Scottish woman sounds like it could be a fun time. Smash. Heavy. I can get with the thickness as much as the next guy, but I feel like he'd make sounds like Bada bing, bada boom is body syndrome. When your balls deep. So it's a pass. Engineer. Say what you want, this man definitely has the most advanced fleshlight technology that humanity has ever seen. I let the engineer get to work erect in my dispenser. Man, how the f did I get here? Um. Smash. Medic. Regardless of my opinion, after seeing my medical charts, I don't think the medic would want to smash me. I wouldn't say it's a pass, more of a, they said to take one of these pills with food every day, and that I should call them after two weeks of that. So, you know, ask me again in two weeks. Sniper. I don't know if it's canon, but I'm pretty sure the Gerardi jar he throws is his own piss, right? Holy sh**, I just googled it, and directly Directly from the TF2 wiki, it says, Gerardi takes the form of a closed jar of what appears to be the sniper's urine. There's kinky, and then there's shattering jars of your own piss over other people's heads kinky. Pass. Spy. We have to assume that I'm on the other team, and that this disguise is 100% accurate down to the ash cheeks, and is fooling me. If they can disguise as anything, and they're disguised as a girl who I'm really attracted to, of course it's gonna work. Just like the game, the part that gets messy is when I find out that it's a spy. Smash, then kill. The fake 10th guard dog class. Yeah, I just included it to say that I'm not a furry to bait you to comment. What of it? Some of you might ask why I included something not in the game if I was just gonna dismiss it angrily. Some of you also might ask why I'm making a TF2 smasher pass in the first place. And to that I say, we don't touch grass here. Stop calling me gay. I f worms and sh**. You think that hurts my feelings? Because it does. And also there's only two girls in TF2. <laughs> Kill me. Virginia Puffington, the hottest character in the game. I think the only hot character in the game. I don't care how many arms and legs she has. All it means is more butts, hands, and feet for me. Smash. This still fucking exists? <sighs> Not anymore. I'm taking matters into my own hands. <laughs>
Smash. Brute. A big old noseless Voldemort face skeletal looking f. You have nice titties for a little boy. He swings the club fine, but let's see how well he can swing it with the end of it shoved right up his probably mutated ass. You see this? I got this from this. Now, hear me out. Some people might say this is a bit unethical. But you know what I say to those people? You're poor! The nurses from the Silent Hill series. Okay, so the face is absolutely horrifying, but the rest of it is on par for some of the hottest people I've ever been with in my life. Smash. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Lady... Lady D from Resident Evil. Call me the entire internet when this game came out because I'm absolutely simping over this van pussy. Smash. Those weird potato guys from Amnesia. Oh, I guess they're called the Gatherers. Well, since their mouths are sliced open beyond belief, there's no way this thing can offer any suction. The rest of the body is also a nightmare patchwork of what looks like dead bodies. There's no way any of those holes are tight. Pass. The animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I'm lumping them all together, F you. I'm not a furry and I certainly don't want no dead kid animatronic robussy. Pass. I'm not sticking my dick anywhere near a Chuck E. Cheese knockoff filled with rotten pepperoni and kid organs. Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. There's no mouth to speak of, only the stabby points of the pyramid. If my only option is getting poked in the dong by one of five spikes, it's a pass. Alice from Bendy and the Ink Machine. Smash! It's basically Betty Boop ex a demon angel. This is one of the rare times I say smash enthusiastically. It's almost like horror game creators don't make their monsters with ability in mind. The Fungus Family from Resident Evil 7. Not only would screwing an entire family be really weird, I'm also pretty sure that yeast is a fungus. And I'm not trying to get a yeast infection, cause I heard someone say the only way she can describe it is cactus in pee hole. Pass. The weird abominations from Scorn. Now this game hasn't really been released at the time of the video, I'm just really hyped for it, so I'm gonna agree to f something without knowing anything about it. Necromorphs from Dead Space. These things are basically alien parasite zombies if I'm to understand correctly. Nothing about dead decaying humans filled with some sort of reanimation disease sounds appealing. Pass. The neck spots that are chasing everybody around in Gmod. This one is kind of like a flat PNG animated at a fast speed. Pass. Calm down, son, it's just a drawing. <laughs> Val from Outlast 2. No empathy and always completely naked and covered in mud. I mean, she's in great shape, though. Smash, it's what I fuck them, not do I consider them a good person. Chris Walker from Outlast. Look, this guy basically boils down to a murderous, morbidly obese ex-offensive lineman. That combination doesn't seem like it'd be too fun for me. I don't think I could do it with <clears throat> staring back at me either. Pass. The special zombies from Left 4 Dead 2. It depends on which one of them. I'm gonna be real honest though, the only one that gets a smash is the witch. Petite, pretty, unpredictable, and either constantly sobbing or in a state of other mania. Close behind is the spitter, but because spitters are quitters, I'm gonna pass. Dr. Richard Traeger from Outlast. The entire surface of this man's skin looks like shrink wrap fried chicken. Judging from how mangled the face and skin is, nothing in the downstairs looked like it'd be especially appealing. Pass. The Stalker. The second stage of the infected. Assuming the cordyceps aren't plugging up all the holes on the body, it'd kinda just be like screwing a regular zombie but with a little bit of truffle grated over the top. Usually when I say mushrooms, sex, and dirty looking woman covered in fungus in the same sentence, I'm at Woodstock. But I can go with the flow here. Smash! Joel. Now for most of the show, Joel's a pass. However, when he gets that hole in his abdomen, that extra option makes him a bit more appealing. Smash. The Runner. An early form of infected that's just kind of the basic zombie getup. So, a dead-brained human that's slowly transforming into a mushroom hive. I'd do it, but to make it worth the risk of a yeast infection, these weird shroomies need to infect a supermodel. Smash. Tommy. So basically it's Joel, except he lives in walled off suburbia. Yeah, I'm not looking for a random domesticated dude, and it looks like his wife already has a pretty good grip on that leash. Pass. The Clicker. The third stage of the infected. Now unfortunately, the cordyceps are likely covering up any of the holes a human would traditionally have. However, if you take a look at the structure of how this fungus grows, you 
can clearly see there are many spots that I could stick it in. Smash. Maria Miller, a settlement leader and Tommy's wife. Tommy's entire life before the apocalypse wasn't the only thing he's losing, because I'm about to steal his wife, leaving him with nothing. Smash. The Bloater. I can get with the thickness as much as the next guy, but at this point, this critter looks like a walking STD. I don't even know if I could find a hole, but if I could, chances are it's just an open wound, so that's a pass. Gay Ron Swanson. Regardless of how much extra riz points the beard gives him, he has the most wholesome relationship of any show ever. Fuck you, I'm not crying, you're crying. I can't home wreck the last non-toxic relationship on Earth. I'm a monster, but I'm not a monster. Pass. Frank. Gay Ron Swanson's husband. I said I wasn't about to home wreck, and that's not gonna change. Especially when you just give me knockoff Ron Swanson. It's not even the real thing. Pass. Shambler. So it's like a bloater, except it has a cloud of noxious gas following it around. It's like a basement dweller that hasn't showered in months with a green cloud following them. I bet it's someone's thing, but it's sure as hell not mine. Pass. Ellie. Of course this one is a pass, you monster. Despite the fact that this weird smelly gnome bugs the shit out of me, this character is a goddamn larva. So you should expect the FBI knocking on your door shortly. The Rat King. A super organism composed of multiple stalkers, clickers, and a bloater that have been connected together by the cordyceps fungus. It's like an orgy all in one terrible Cronenberg zombie critter. I think at this point, I'd have to use antifungal cream as lube to avoid getting assimilated. But once we figure that out, it's a smash. Ellie's mom. Not for a traditional reason, well maybe for that, but mostly because every time Ellie annoys me, I can just say, I fucked your mom. Smash. Sam, the deaf kid. Of course it's a pass, kid was in the description. But side note, a lot of people said he faced the wall when he was turning to save Ellie because he couldn't see her when facing the wall and wouldn't know she's there when he's a zombie. That's sweet and all. But, you know, kids are idiots, and it could have equally likely been, like, him, like, I don't want to die looking at this bitch. Henry. I don't know if he'd be up for it, like, right after Sam died, and Tears as Lube sounds like a really awkward band name, so I gotta pass. You see what I've done to all these fighting video game characters? Imagine what I could do to a human that didn't like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled, and watch all my other crap. I wouldn't want to find out. Shout out the inner circle. Love y'all. Oh, the Lord.